everybody. I'm here. <laughs> oh, yesterday was horrendous. What a day. Yep, my mother flew out my mouth at the doctor's office. Yes. What is it with, um, not necessarily doctors, but, uh, you know, they say that us out here in the real world are like going overboard about the whole, you know, because of the C word. I'm sorry. I think some of the people that are um, working in the healthcare system are uh, a little bit, um, they need to remember the HIPAA because, yeah, that's twice now that they've broken huge HIPAA prop, uh, things with me and I'm not happy. Anyways, we ain't going to discuss it. Where do I start? I have a lot to share with y'all. I have a lot to share with y'all. I have mail. I have something really cool that I did today that I have to share with y'all. I have a shopping haul, a little short one. And gosh, I don't think I have it all here beside me, but that's okay. I can share the rest of it with you later time. And then I have harvesters. Harvesters is something that comes to senior disabled housing partway through the month. Um, comes actually at the end of the month, which is kind of cool. Um, I have that because harvesters isn't a whole lot of stuff. It's just a little bit. So I'm throwing it all into one little hodgepodge video. First, my mail call. I got mail. And my mail is from Miss Mary Clark. Thank you, thank you, Mary. Um, and I've noticed I've had some subscribers that have kind of like, um, and somebody else was telling me that my comment disappeared off from their page, but they saw that I commented. And I've noticed that with some others. I've seen that some of my usual subscribers have commented, but their comments are disappearing once. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but... Things are, like, weird right now. I don't know if YouTube is going through whatever they're going through, but they need to calm stuff down because it's it's not good. But anyways, Mary, thank you. Um, I pulled the uh, little tabby thing open. I'm going to open this. Oh, my goodness, guys, look at this. It's a Halloween card. I love Halloween, y'all. If you Y'all should know me by now. I love Halloween. Yes, I have my little house there. Let me scoot over a little bit so you can see my house. It's all lit up. And, oh, she put some little embellishments in it. And it says, um, make sure that there's nothing personal in here. It says, Laura, hope you get your fill of all the fun Halloween brings. And when the night is over and you go to sleep, wishing you the sweetest dreams. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween. Love your channels. Your friend, Mary Clark. And I love it. Absolutely love it. Look at the little kitty on the front. Mary, thank you. This is going up with the rest of my cards. Um, as you all know, I'm doing also a Christmas card exchange. The other thing I've done today is... I've been wanting to do this for a while, and I've looked online for all these different um, places to make, like, either stickers or, like, the, the cards, not like a, like a postcard thing or whatever you call them. And I was like, gosh. And then the wait time to get it, four to six weeks, six to eight weeks, you know. And then we have the issue with our mail. So... And then making it the way I want it and what I want on it. And, and it just, I couldn't ever get it to work the way I wanted it to work. So I fiddled around this morning. I made it. I went up to Walmart and I was like, well, I don't know what it's going to cost. So let's see what happens if I use the kiosk. Well, the first time it just it was totally, totally bad. So I went back on my, um, I use a... Uh, Pixlr. I went back into Pixlr and I played around and I fixed it and I went and did the editing. It's like I'd edit the photo 
and I had to like cut just a little piece of white off um, on the ends of all of them. Well, I printed off 40 of them and it only cost me with tax $4.11 for 40. And they turned out gorgeous. This is how they look. I know they're going to look backwards to you guys. So they turned out being about four by five because they are printed out four by six with about an inch of um, white on the side that I had to cut off. But that is amazing. I'm so pleased with them. I'll probably just go ahead and um, the beginning of the month print off a mess more um, because I saved it on my phone. I'm going to keep printing them off. Um, that is the cheapest I've seen, so they're nine cents a piece, um, and they just turned out really good. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to, um, uh, continue with this. So, there you have it, guys. I've got 40 of them made, ready to go. I'm going to, um, set them aside so nothing happens. Put them with my card from Mary. Thank you. Mary, that is so cute. Shopping haul first. I did go and pick up a second package of these. So now I have pens, uh, mechanical pencils for um, 20 of the older kids. I got me some creamer, guys. And I showed you guys that I got the um, odd flavored um Jello. The pineapple was really good. And I can't remember what the other flavor was I got. It was pretty much flavorless. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I got you know what? Because I couldn't taste nothing. And I'm, so I heated up my lime. And I could taste it. And I was like, okay, so whatever. I can't remember now what the other flavor was. I can't remember what it was. I think it was peach. Had no flavor to it. But the pineapple was excellent. It tasted just like pineapple. Um, I had to pick up some of this because I'm making a dip um, for crackers later. And I, I'm almost out of these. I had to have some so I didn't get the 100 pack like I normally would have. And if you've seen my crafting video, you already know that I had bought, I didn't, uh, not necessarily these. I picked up another one of these Christmas trees. They had some. I bought two of these. And then I went today and I picked up a third. So I actually have three. I've already opened one pack of these. Um, these are great to use for embellishments because you can cut the back off. And the hole is in the back part, but don't throw away the back. You can still use it for name tags and tags on other things. So don't throw away the back with the little string. You can use it for other things or crafting with other things. Plus, I picked up these peel and stick tags. You don't have to unpeel them. And these are nice because you can just cut here. So we'll have Santa... And we can um, leave it straight or we can decorate down here, do other things. Um, the same with the tree, the truck, the deer. Look at this. That's going to look really cool on that church Christmas card. Seriously. Then we have, and how cool is that? You see that snowman? It's the same one. They're the same one. Is the house? The house is the same. Do they have a horse? They don't have the horse. What about on the back? They're the same things on the back. But the house and the snowman are on both. So they, they, they kind of match. But I was telling you about embellishing ready already made Christmas cards with other things inside to make them more uh, personable. These will work wonderful for that, too. Um, I'm still stocking up on water, so I bought me a 28-pack of um, Sam's Club water. I'm not picking it up. You can see it's right here. Oh, it's 
right here. And now let's go ahead. Oh, nope, I picked up something else. In my walkthrough, you'll see that I had um, shown that wreath with the owl in the middle. Oh, it's gorgeous. But it was $26. Walmart carries these wreaths for three. $288. $288. Yes, it's kind of flat. You need to fluff them out and make them look party. Is it the same as the wreath? No, it's not going to be the same. But Walmart has all kinds of these picks that we can add to this wreath and make it look nice. I also picked up a bunch of owls at the Dollar Tree and they were in my other shopping haul. So I have owls. I have a various amount of picks. I'm going to be taking and making that. I also bought, and that's the bag that I've, was like, look, I'm missing something these because that showed um these balls but they had like a decoration but that's not what i'm going to do because the owls have burlap on them and things like that and they're not the dark brown like um the owl in the picture they're white and burlap i'm going to do something different with these that's why i needed to pick up more of the hot glue so Watch for that craft coming up. I also bought, and I know I didn't show you guys these, so. We finally got them in, Karen. We finally got them in. And I had a hard time. And guess what? I was in there this morning. They're gone. There's none left. They didn't last long. There's only six, so there's only two of each. They are the wooden this pack is leaves. Aren't they gorgeous? I didn't have a whole lot of money to spend. So I really had to choose which ones to get. They are laser cut. They're wood and a six per pack. I love that right there, that moth. Isn't he adorable? They're all different bugs. So cute. This one is more bugs, but we have four that are dragonflies and then another one of those. And then we have hummingbirds, a partridge kind of looking thing, but you get the picture. And these are already gone. They're already sold out. And then, this is a no-brainer. This package is owls. So there you go. I got some, Karen. I, I think they're different than the ones that you get. And I think you get yours at Dollarama. But, um, yeah, our Dollar Tree finally actually had some of the laser cutouts like these. So I'm excited. Um, I do need to rearrange my stash a little bit. It's gotten very wild. Um, and that's it on that. Now let's get on to what I got from Harvesters, guys. Are you ready? Um, whenever I get this one fruit, I, um, put that handle out of my way. What I end up doing is I put it through my, um, I have like a, it's not Ninja, it's, um, it's from, uh, New Wave. It's there, like, it's like the Ninja Bullet, but it's from New Wave. I put this one fruit I've got through it, and I make, like, a smoothie out of it. It is delicious. Sometimes I put it with strawberries, like I have two big packages of strawberries. One. Two. And I looked. I think I have one of these has a bad one. Right there. There's a bad one in 
out of these two packages, only one bad one. And the fruit I'm talking about is pineapples. <laughs> I seen these and I was instantly was like undercover pineapple. All I could think of was Crime Weekly. <laughs> So anyways, I wonder how many people send Derek and Stephanie pineapples for Christmas this year. It's just, it just a thought I had when I was looking at these. But yes, I cut these down and um, I put the pineapple through the um, Nutra Blender, my New Wave Blender thing. And I, I turn it into like a slushy. And that's how, because raw, uh, actual, um, the fruit itself, my stomach doesn't digest. But I do get to enjoy this. And I put it through so it's almost like a juice. Then I got some Turkey Hill unsweetened tea, zero calories, um, one gram of carb. So I can have this and I can add um, probably some flavor. Or I might add some of the, um, what do you call this? Um, either strawberries or I might put some pineapple in there and just let it soak. Not actually eat the pineapple or strawberries, but. And then I got a 10 pound bag. It's 10 pounds, correct? 10 pound bag of potatoes. And I'm going to have to wash these because all of them had at least one bag. One bag. One bad potato. So I'm going to have to wash them. And then I got, <clears throat> and I can't get a hold of it. I'll just do it from here. We were all looking at these and we we're all like, really? They look like onion sets and there's no tag. So we were curious. Are they really onions or are they onion sets? They look like onion sets, guys. I don't know. Because they're all small. There's the biggest onion right there. So I don't know if they're actually supposed to be onions or if they're supposed to be onion sets. There's no tags, no nothing. There's probably... Three, four, five, ten, twenty. I bet there's fifty onions in here. I bet this is actually a bag of onion sets. I don't think this is actual onions, but I don't know, guys. You tell me what you think. Do you think this is actually supposed to be a bag of onions? Or do you think this is a bag of onion sets? Look at the size of this. And they're mostly little bitty things. Like, look. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think those are onion sets? Or do you think they're really onions? Um, and then we have... Grass-fed organic vitamin D milk. And it is good until November 4th. So, it's still good. I'm going to get it in the refrigerator. As soon as I'm done talking to you, I have two half gallons. I almost bought milk today, and I forgot to go get it because I was printing off those. And I was like, I've already left the store. I'm not going back, and I'm not paying what they want at the convenience stores for a half gallon of milk. Um, so, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And Mary, thank you for the beautiful card. I love it. I love the little kitty. I love Halloween, guys. And Christmas is coming up. And um, even though I don't have family or anything like that, um, and I don't, I don't put a tree or anything up. This willow tree behind me, this they have them again this year. I thought about getting another one, um, but my apartment's kind of tiny, and I thought about getting another one to put in my bedroom, but. I don't know. We'll see. I have other things that are more important to do, and I'm just going to go with the flow. So, we'll see what happens. I have a ton of things on my agenda that have to be done, and that's 
little man on the totem pole, so to speak. But everybody, thank you so much. And um, I appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm going to be watching my mail for Christmas cards. And I've got a bunch made up. I've got stuff to make up even more with. And um, I'll talk to everybody in the comments down below. Everybody have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.